Hi, this is Roland from Rolosoft.com. In this short video I'm going to give you a tour of our new email address checker software. Now the software is able to pre-cleanse email lists in a way that's never been possible before. Uh, it reduces the amounts of, of email bounces, uh, reduces the management uh, from email bounces and uh, will therefore reduce your, your business costs. Uh, so let's go ahead, uh, let's log in. Bear with me while I, while I scroll this around so you can see. This is the welcome screen. Um, at the moment, in the beta test version of this of this software, we've basically got two options to get you started really, really quickly. Um, first of all, there's the the bulk import screen, which we'll take a look at in a second. Uh, I'm going to go straight onto the list management, straight onto the main interface. Now, one of the things you'll notice about this, anybody that's used Microsoft Outlook, this will look really familiar. Now the reason we've created it like this is that we know that nobody likes reading lots of lots of instructions and, and reading huge software manuals before you can actually get up to speed and, and use this. So this is this is really easy, and it's kind of been our mission to uh, deliver a software product that you can use that most people can use without having to to to, to get get in, into reading the details of, of an instruction manual. So let's just go and start real simple. Um, first and foremost you can add a single email address. One of the questions that we've had from the beta test is you know, can, can, you, can, can you add individual email address? Well, the answer is yeah. Do it here. Um, let's just whack one in. Uh, so I type and then hit the return button. The program's actually doing uh, a check against that email address at the moment and it's come back and it's told me that it's valid so it gives me uh, a picture there a little tick mark check mark to let me know it's valid uh, also it says yeah fine that's okay um, so that's the that's the single email address I can go ahead and delete this so I can click to select and then just go up to the menu and I can just hit the delete button okay and that's gone right let me talk you through very quickly the the bulk import function so click the import button I'm going to go for bulk Okay, uh, it's a very, this is a very simple screen at the moment, and at the moment we only accept um, import from from copy paste. Uh, when this when the, when we get to launch this product, um, we're going to provide a couple of other options, uh, including file upload, uh, so Excel, comma separated file, uh, that that type of format. Um, but at the moment we're we're just doing uh, copy paste from simple lists. So I've got a number of email addresses here which I'm just going to paste in and I know there's 99 of these so just click next yeah software's detected 99 email addresses I'm just going to click through this uh, no I don't want to run it again okay and you'll notice now that, that these email addresses have gone into the uh, gone into the the main list management area and it's given me a status of, of pending Okay, now if I refresh the browser now, you should see some things changing. They will change. Okay, we've got some results back now. Um, so what's actually happened is that I've imported those email addresses in the background uh, on, 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 on our servers. Um, there's some, some checks going in places, uh, going Taking, taking place um, and we're checking against each one of those email servers whether the email address is, is valid or not and uh, to, to, the, to the best of best of the software's ability it'll come back with a result and tell you whether the email is, is fine, it's bad or, or we just don't know. Um, so how do we get this information out? Well this is, this is really really easy. If you want to get the whole lot out all you do is you just go to export and we've got a number of formats so comma separated file, Excel, Word and Adobe PDF. Uh, we can go a stage further here Let me just show you another feature of this on the the filter button if I click that it opens up another option down here which gives me the, the ability to filter based on if I'm looking for a particular email address for example uh, I can pull up a bunch of options there um, what I usually do here is B 
because I'm searching on status it can only be um, one of these status that's okay bad blocked rejected or pending if I want to export a resort re a re report for the for the bad email addresses just go ahead and filter that okay click export uh, let's go for I don't know let's have a, have a go with um, with a PDF file uh, okay let's go ahead and open that Right, and here it gives me a report of all the email addresses that are not valid from the list that I've just imported. And I can go ahead and do this for uh, good email addresses, for ones that we just don't know about, or, or for the whole lot. And this will come out in um, either either uh, PDF format, Excel, or in Word. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, if I want to, let me just close down this filter area here by just deselecting here. If I want to get rid of all these email addresses I could go through individually and delete them like this so I'm going to select and then hit the delete button. Alternatively I can mark, mark a whole page like that similar as you would do in Outlook uh, or I can just drag like this and select a number of them. Uh, what we've included as well as a way of really quickly getting rid of the whole lot. Let me just deselect that for you. You can get rid of the whole lot by clicking this down arrow on the on the delete toolbar. Click down, click delete all, and then click OK. And that's it. They're gone, all of them. Uh, and you're ready to start again. Um, so on the beta version, we've got the um, we've got on the left here. We've it's taken up by. Uh, the beta test blog um, on the on release version. This is this is all going to go, um, and on here on the on this menu here, it'll give you the ability to to manage or create and manage multiple campaigns. So what does that mean? That if you've got um, different campaigns in in, in in your in your business um, with different email addresses, this will give you the ability to create and manage those and and segment uh, lists according to those. So again, this follows a very similar interface. To Outlook, um, and eventually when this is this is up and running, this will be this will be quite exciting. Uh, so, I hope this has given you a very quick tour of the software. Um, so it's not available. This is not available yet. Um, we're aiming to launch in November. Um, we're busy testing at the moment to make sure this this thing's going to going to going to be really good. Uh, so, what I would encourage you to do is, if 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 you like the look of this product, is to um, put in your put in your details. Fill out the registration form uh, right over there on the on the right hand side of the screen. Um, put in your name and your email address. Um, we're not going to spam you or anything. Um, and as soon as the product's available, we'll 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 let you know. Um, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, then head off over to uh, rolosoft.com. Um, let me know. Hit the contact button, um, and I'll I'll be happy to to answer any questions you might have. Alright, thanks for listening and uh, see you next time.